Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. Today's video is a follow-up to my dilemma on whether I would be moving into an A5 ring planner or a B6 ring planner. So the A5 ring planner I got from Michaels and I got a great deal because I was able to use my rewards cash. So I got the planner plus some inserts plus the matching hole punch for under $15. So win-win for me to try out the size. Then there is B6 rings aka what best from lights planner action likes to call basics and this is from lights planner action and i just i love it so if you guys can't tell from which one i'm holding and which one actually has stuff inside of it i'm going to be using the b6 so the b6 size is something that i always gravitate back to when it comes to me downsizing i have tried the classic happy planner i have tried the half letter i have tried an a5 bullet journal as well and then i tried the functional binder i don't know if i've really done a5 now that i think about it i don't think i've done a5 but the half letter is kind of close to it so it's in that family but B6, when it comes to me downsizing and getting back to basics, it's always a size that I revert back to because I'm able to get back to the essence of what it is that I want to do with my planner. And sometimes that's what we need to do. Take out the deco, take out all the extra things, take out the sizing and everything. What is the premise of you wanting to plan? For me, it's writing things down, getting things done, checking it off, moving on. So... With the planner system that I have now, I don't focus too much on stickers inside of my daily, weekly layouts, however it is that I want to plan. I don't focus too much on stickers. I do use sticky notes and I have videos on how I incorporate these into my system. I know some people out there told me that sticky notes are not their thing. It's cool. It's cool. Everybody has their thing. For me, categorizing with sticky notes is just it adds a little something to my page that's not stickers but also if I want to move them around or take them off or if I want to move them into another system I have the flexibility to do so so planning my planning system needs to be flexible so writing directly on the page isn't necessarily what I want to do all the time so that's that and then the other thing when it comes to planning that I say all the time is have your planner meet you where you are in your life at the moment. For a lot of people, that may mean not using a planner at all right now. For some people, they're trying to figure out what it is that they want to use in 2021. And I will have my entire planning for 2020 series in the description box with a plethora of videos for you guys to check out that can put you in the right direction. So with this B6, the size is one of the things that made me come back to this because I'm comfortable with the size. I'm used to the size. My planning system will work inside of here. It'll work in any size planner that I use, honestly. But what sold me was the cover. I love from this cover from Print Pressions and how flexible it is. Very reminiscent of that of a traveler's notebook. This is basically a traveler's notebook with just rings. So this is the back cover here. It has these two pockets. You can see I still have a lot of room on the rings. And then the front has these pockets. I have some cards in here. I, I need to make these pockets look good, okay? So there's this pocket. So you have a little space there, a little space there, and then the pocket there. And then to close it, there's an elastic band. They also had a snap closure option, which I'm thinking maybe I should have got that one, but it's all right. It is what it is. And then for what is inside, I literally just took the paper that I had in my functional binder and I cut it down and I took some of the paper from the jewel box, latest release sub box, and then I put it in here. So the vellum, this dashboard here, which has a doll on the front and the back. And then I have another one here as well. Where is it? So here we go. Now, the hole punch that I purchased for the A5 
did not, did not work with this planner. So I did get one off of Amazon. I'll have the link below as well as my entire Amazon um, shop. So that's that. The new one that I got worked perfectly. And I think it was between 20, it was around 20-ish dollars. But I didn't want to commit to actual inserts because this is literally just a bullet journal on rings for me. And I just need to get back into the swing of things. So the thing with the cover, as far as it being flexible, I'm able to fold it back when I want to write on this side of the page. And here I can always, of course, open it back up. But then also if I don't want to write here i can take it out of the planner that's another option now if you want to have the flexibility to take the pages in and out where the holes are you can just cut slits here which i've seen a lot of people do kind of turning it into disc bound but it's not but you have the flexibility to take your pages in and out so that is how i'm going to be using this as far as adding more deco and dashboards and all that i do want to add a dashboard for my sticky notes because i want to bring them on the go with me and I do have a lot of room left in here. Even when I close it, I still have a lot of room. It's not heavy right now simply because I don't have a lot of things inside of here. But as far as the deco and everything, I do want to trick this out a little bit more. So I have some stuff coming from Gold Mine and Coco from the Mistletoe Collection. So this is going to have a nice, cute little Christmas set up inside of here once all that stuff arrives. And I'll bring you guys along and update you as I continue to set this up. But it's ready to go for me to start using right now. I will be laminating my dashboards simply for durability for me to use them down the line. And that's about it. When it comes to whether I will be using functional inserts, functional inserts, printed inserts or not, I do not want to print inserts. Um, that's not my thing. I know I have the equipment to do it, but I don't want to do it. I, I like printed options. So whether I'll do that, the only two inserts that I would possibly look at, well, there's three, potentially a monthly Filler paper, whether it's dot grid, grid, or lined. And then lastly, potentially a financial kind of one, just so I can keep up with my bills and see it at a glance and not just monthly. So that is the option. And the two shops I'm looking at for that are So Much Crafting and Lights Planner App Action. They do have um, B6 ring inserts, printed options. So there's so many um, options on Etsy. There's so many other shops. I believe Goldmine and Coco also has some printed inserts for B6 rings as well. I know she has printed inserts, but I'm not sure about B6 rings. So I'll have all that links in the description box for you guys to check out. But that's where I'm at. I need to get back into using this planner. I also need to do other things as far as cleaning my office. But that wraps it up for this video. Did you guys pick the right one? Did you think I was going to go with the B6? Which one are you currently using right now? Are you in a B6? Because I had a lot of feedback in the last video that they were torn between the same thing. So let me know what planner you're currently using in the description box. And let me know what you think about my choice in the description box. In the comment section, let me know what you think in the comment section. And in the description box, I will have links to related videos. Of course, the blog and Instagram and so much more. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. If you're not subscribed to the Chaotic Critic fam, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.